Hello, uh, welcome to Stra uh, welcome to Peugeot channel, uh, uh, 205309. Uh, so this is just a quick video on what's inside a solenoid. So this is one, I uh, disassembled it already. So we got, what you do, uh, you have to unsolder the connection here and here and when you then what I did, what I had to do was hacksaw around the top and then just fold it, then just bend it back because there was no other way of doing it otherwise um, so basically what happens is once you've done that you get the cap off I'll go over the cap again in a minute but you get the cap off and then you get this after you've, after you've done that you get this out that's like the core so you got this bit, this is this cylinder is where the um, the magnetic, uh, the iron core from the uh, solenoid uh, from the starter motor. There's another, there's another piece missing, but on this video, but that when you, uh, that's the thing that slides back and forward. So there's, uh, yeah. So there's a spring, there's a spring missing out. This is in. I've kept it though. Um, got a spring and the other pieces in the other section uh, so basically when you activate the when you do the solenoid you can see there's a there's a core of wire uh, like three connections there's there's a I'm not exactly sure why there's a small there's a small winding but it seems to be two big big windings presumably well when you put the current through there it goes and it forms a um, magnetic field in the middle if anyone else knows actually why there's three wires there it looks like there's main windings is a big core and then there is that little wire just hooked onto the end don't know what that is I have to look on the other one because I've done another one. I'll do another video after this. This one, I see. I've, I've taken apart two of them, but on this one, that was the first one I did. I snapped it off by accident because I, I didn't solder that. I didn't unsolder the joint. But I think I can still use it because you can just wind one back. Um, so then it had this this thing on the top exactly the same. It's like this, mm, just a cover, I think. I think that's just a cover. There's that little solder connection of that one as well. That had the same thing. A wire was soldered onto a thin wire was soldered onto there. Um, that's this is just in, this is just the case. Simply that bolts onto the starter motor. Then you do up those screws. Yeah, there's a spring. Usually has yeah in here there was a spring. I've still got that. So those do up onto the eight millimeter nut. Um, and then so. Yeah, when you when you when you power it on, form, forms a core and then it pulls the plunger thing back down. And then this is the cap for it. Yeah, this is the right one. They're both the same, but that one, yeah. This one I forgot to solder off the connection. So on this one, it's got like two studs. The thing that went wrong on these was I I used it for so long. It's when I couldn't get it. It's when I couldn't get the engine started that I melted it. It's got so hot that it's melted the, the casing and it's not lined up anymore. So these are these are no good. So I took it to bits just to find out what was inside. But basically, oh, what happened is I've got this little plunger thing inside it. And when, oh yeah, I was just when that when the other thing moves back, this thing. This thing gets pushed back. It's got a spring on it, and it makes a contact. So the, you know, you usually you've got this permanently wired up to the live terminal on the battery, and then that makes obviously makes the contact, which makes the which makes the power flow through the um, through the starter motor windings. But I need to get. I need to see. I think you can get. I think you can get new caps for them. You think you can get new caps for them. So then I can try and put that back. So I've kept the little, here's the other one. 
I thought they would be identical, but they're pretty much the same. I went off the other one. Um, that little cap thing off the top. So that's really it. Nothing, not that complicated. It's just a winding. Just a wire, just a wire wrap around a core, around a, around a cylinder. Um, oh yeah, it's insulated wiring obviously as well, isn't it? You can see it's like, got the insulation. I'm not sure what that little one is though. That's the only thing I don't know. I don't know what. Um, I could just maybe get another cap and then so solder them back on. And hopefully it would, should still work. I mean, I could try and show you what, I think what I do is I try and show you what working with next in another video with just using the just using the two I can use just these two so if, if I put 12 volts through that it should make a magnetic field anyway that was what's inside a star, uh, solenoid for starter oh yeah just in case you can see it was there there are the studs and when this is the contact when that contact there you can see there it got burnt there yeah, it's been burnt so because it gets so hot it's got burnt yeah that's that's got burnt as well and hopefully you can get a new caps and then i'll be back in business i can just put it back together um otherwise it means i've got to buy another solenoid that's 30 quid or something like that so it's not even worth it you might as well just buy another star mo Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Uh, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.